Thank you. Amen. Amen. I know a lot of you are sitting there with caps and gowns, and, and you're sitting all proper and nice and neat, and that's good. But on the inside, this is how you sound. Because you're saying to yourself, I made it. I made it. I finally made it. You know, over 20 something years ago, I was sitting where you were. I was sitting at graduation. I was sitting at my graduation. And I remember all of the hurt and heartache that I went through to get to that point. I remember all of the trouble. I had all of the trials that I had to face. I remember tests that I failed. I remember phone calls that I got from home that, that really upset me and that caused a problem for me while I was trying to make it. But I also remember being encouraged by my family and my friends. I remember being, being, being edged on by my classmates. See, our graduation date was February the 27th. And I asked you in school, the only thing that we did to encourage each other, we looked at each other and we say, February 27th, February 27th, just hold on until that day. And I want to applaud you today for, for just, for reaching this milestone in your life and in your career. But before I applaud you, I want, I want, I want everybody to stand up in here Turn around and pull up your support. Everybody to stand up and turn around and applaud the people that made it possible for you to be here. Because without their help, without their help, you would not be here. You know, you look at how you started off, you had a mission. And your mission was to make it. I tell you people all the time, don't just go to school and say, I went. Go to school to graduate. Go to school to get your degree, to get your diploma. Go to school to get that piece of paper that says that you have, you have what it takes to stick to something. I know it got hard along the way. I know there were times when you wanted to give up. I know there were times when you wanted to throw in the top. But there was something that was driving you. Maybe it was a better life. Maybe it was more money. Maybe it was being able to actually impact somebody that was close to you. Maybe you're the first person in your family to graduate college. Whatever the reason is, it drove you to get to this point today. And you should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of the accomplishment that you made. Because there are a lot of people that wanted to say, I made it. And they never did. But you started. But not only did you start it, you finished. And that is work and applause. So I applaud you. <laughs> On this journey to your graduation, I know you face some mountains. As you mentioned in my bio, I had a chance to write a book entitled, Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain? The inspiration for that book came from a quote by Dr. Miles Monroe. And the quote said that the greatest failure in life is to succeed at the wrong assignment. I'm going to say that again. The greatest failure in life is to succeed at the wrong assignment. When I first read that quote, the first thing that came to my mind was a picture. And that picture was of somebody standing on top of the mountain saying, I did it! But the caption at the bottom of the picture said, but you're on the wrong mountain. You know, so many people are doing what they were trained to do as opposed to what they were ordained to do. And I know that your career, the path that you chose, it has something, there's something in you that led you in that direction. But don't just stop right there. Don't just stop after today. Continue to learn, continue to grow. But not only that, continue to give back. Because there are people coming behind you. There are people that you can influence and you can inspire 
just by continuing. There are young people sitting out here today that are looking at you and saying, one day I'm going to wear a cap. I'm going to have a gown on. One day I'm going to be graduating. One day I'm going to make it. And so I encourage each and every graduate. You don't just let it stop here. You had a mission when you started. You may have some mountains along the way, but you're also, because of what you went through, because of what you faced, you had the mission. You had the mountain. But now, you have this moment. This moment in time where you can say, I made it. I graduated. I completed what I started. I didn't fall out of the wayside. I didn't let the trials and the troubles stop me from getting to where I was going to go. You can say that I have a degree. You can say that I have made something of my life. You can say I am somebody. You can say I made it. I just want to encourage each and every one of you to continue to grow. Don't just don't don't stop learning. Now I, mean, I know you want to take a break. But me, after I finish college, I didn't even want to pass by school. I didn't even want to pick up a book. But don't stop here. Continue to grow. Continue to learn. Continue to give back because there are, there's somebody that is looking to you for the help that they need, for the inspiration they need to go on with their life. And I do have to say this to all of the parents, all of the husbands and wives, all of the grandparents, the aunts and uncles. Thank you. For the graduates, I say thank you. For every sacrifice that you gave, I said thank you. For every child that you fed, I said thank you. For every time you watched their children while they studied, I said thank you. For every time you had to run to Walmart to get stuff for a last minute project, I say thank you for them. Because I know they didn't give it by themselves. They didn't make it on their own. They are here because of you. And not just you, but the staff. The amount of of work that they put in to help make this moment possible. All of y'all, everybody, everybody needs to be appreciated because without you, this moment would not be possible. And so after all the dust has settled, after everybody has gone home, you can take a moment to reflect on the fact that you have made it. Thank you. Thank you.